Hi guys, Joe here, and today I'm going to do a trombone lesson on YouTube. Um, I need to practice tonight still. So, I'm going to be doing um, two reels, the highest pitch and the lowest pitch. Um, and I will be doing the um, different positions on the slide. So, I'm going to show you the highest pitch first. That high. And then the lowest pitch. Wait a minute. There we go. Okay, next I'm going to give you some tips. And I know it's kind of dark because my tablet is funky. So, uh, first of all, I'll try to keep the cheeks in. Now, when I was trying to do that low part, I puffed all my cheeks. That just makes it a little bit lower, but I did that wrong. <clears throat> so, um, I'm going to be doing it, you know, it can be a lot lower being your cheeks out. So, I'm going to do cheeks out first. Like that. That sounds like a baritone, which is pretty much a trombone. And then that's with cheeks in. So I'm going to show you guys two reels now. Um, and so it's two reel, two reel. So. I cannot do them perfectly, but. So then I'm going to do some positions on the slide. So fourth position, you guys cannot see, dang it, dang it, dang it, right here on the slide here. Let me get a light. I'll be right back. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. I got a light with me. So I'm going to show you guys the end of the slide. Um, if I can find it right... There, see that little ridge right there? That, if you line that up with the tip of your bell, and if you do not know, this is the bell. So if you line up that with the tip of the bell, there, that is fourth position. Of course, this is first position all the way in. And then third position is where you can touch here. Let me get the white on me. Kind of better. So then it's where I can touch my middle finger, kind of like pinch it like that. Kind of pinch it. That's third position. Sixth position is as far out as you can go with a straight arm. Seventh position is as far out as you can go. So and so the correct way to hold your slide, you wanna take two fingers, your middle finger and your index finger. You put it on this one, and then you put your thumb, you know, pinch it like that, okay? And then, this is something, gun in school, you're, now you're expelled. So, between these two bars, this is the slider one, and this one is to hold on to. So, put three fingers in between there, put your middle finger on the part of the uh, mouthpiece, on the mouthpiece, and then you put your thumb up here. Gun, now you're expelled from school. So, I'm going to be playing for a little bit for you guys. Um, that's pretty much all I got, but I'm going to be playing a little bit because I need to get my practice in. So, I'll do a little tune. This is nothing that I've practiced, but this is just what I'm going to do. So, let me get this light up. Just give me a second. Here we go. And it does sound pretty cool when you move the slide. I'll do kind of a lower sound and then slide it. You guys see that? There's a little bit pitch difference and, you know, playing sound difference. So, um, let's try to play Jingle Bells. I'll just try. I've never tried this before. And I cannot do it. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, 
Um, this is five minutes right here. I'm going to show you some parts of the trombone. So I got a little light up here. This is the mouthpiece. Um, this part is a little dented on mine, but, you know, so here, this is how you buzz into it. Okay, so you get your lips wet. That's one thing. And then you put them together, kind of tight, but then you blow through air them and kind of flubber. Like that, and the looser you flubber, you know, like, like that is going to be the lowest sound. And then the tighter, that's going to be the highest sound. Here. There's the low sound. There's the high sound. So, then, okay, so here's the mouthpiece. Put that down right there. Okay, then there's the cinch right here. See this? Okay, you bring it down. Then you can take apart the bell and the um, uh, slide. If I can get it off, I always have trouble with this. There we go. So, um, here's the slide. You see that? Let me put this down here. And then here's the bell. So, here's this. And there's actually a way that you can put the mouthpiece right into the bell without actually having to slide. You just have to have it in a little tight. It's like a tuba, kind of like this, but you have to do it like that. There we go. So, um, there we go. Those are the three parts. Actually, there are four. On the slide, it comes apart. There's that and there's that. So this is the inside of the slide. This is the part that you see when you slide on the other part out. So, and usually, if you put one side in, the other one does not want to go in that other side. So I will have to put it back in here. Uh, get this in. I think I might have it in the wrong one. One second, guys. And there we go. I got it. There we go. Got it back in. There we go. And most slides, they have a lock like this. Here, let me get the light right here, kind of. You can see that my thing has bad writing. Anyway, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. There we go. You know, if you twist that, it goes onto this little cinch that keeps the slide from falling. And then. So, but our band teacher actually told us never lock your slide again because there are people that think it's locked, but it's not locked, and then their slide falls out of there, which to be in playable condition, the slide actually has to fall, but mine does not do that. I do not know why, but it's a little old, but no, it still is in working condition, you know, it's been good enough to play. So, uh, anyway... This is uh, the trombone. I'm going to be playing some more for you guys. Um, I'll show you how to put this together. So, you have your bell and you have your slide. So, where that cinch is, where like, the screwer is, you put that in there. And then you roll it up there. It's like a twist on. Then, got my mouthpiece. Put that into the slide. And you do not want it plainly like this. You want it twisted. A little squeaky. <laughs> and then you want it like this. So that it's like this. I do not know if it matters if you're left-handed or right-handed. But I'm right-handed. This is how I hold it. So. Um. Anyway. I'll be playing some more. Kind of just doing it. <laughs> Oh, my God.
Okay, so there we go, guys. There was 10 minutes right there. Um, I did some playing. I showed you the parts of a trombone. Give me a second. Just my light. Um, I showed you the toreos. I showed you um, the highest pitch and the lowest pitch that you can do on a trombone. And I got my practice in. You know, I got uh, 11, 10 minutes. So, there we go. I actually have to do two hours um, every week. Every day two, I have trombone. Every day one, I have full band. So, I go to school at up here in Stillwater. It's my grandma's house. Um, I really like pretty nice up here and i moved from new prague so thanks for watching guys um this is just kind of a little video that i wanted to do you know i wanted to record it so i knew how long i actually um did it how long i actually practiced for one and for two i wanted to show you guys um my video so thanks for watching like comment share subscribe whatever please thank you bye